It's interesting watching the media come around to our view, isn't it? I mean, seven or eight years ago, every time you turned around, there was another mainstream article about how we atheists needed to chill the fuck out, right? We were drowning in these unholier-than-thou think pieces about how we should all just get along, wherein far-center faithists would ignore all the red flags of theocracy and chastise us for describing religion as fairy tales and hurting someone's feelings. And of course, those stories are still out there. But far more often, we're getting stories along the lines of, okay, maybe the atheists were a little rude, but it turns out they were right about, you know, the Christians coming for contraception, public education, psychiatric services, and the very concept of democracy the instant the popular vote turned against them as it happens. And such was the case last week when the Washington Post ran an expose about taxpayer money going to religious schools that might as well have been called, holy shit, turns out Noah was right. But they forewent that title in favor of the slightly more universal, quote, billions in taxpayer dollars now go to religious schools via vouchers, end quote. And of course, that was the whole plan with vouchers from day one, wasn't it? They were originally sold as a means of holding underperforming schools accountable and helping low-income students get a better education. But you could tell that was horseshit from the outset because the only people who ever advocated for them were on the side of the political spectrum that gives zero fucks about helping low-income students get a better education. What's more, pretty much every group that actually helps low-income students warned that voucher programs would be a fucking disaster for students in underperforming schools. But despite all the warnings, they slowly started to roll them out. And lo and behold, all us naysayers who said this is a Trojan horse to fund religious schools with tax dollars turned out to be right. And now, according to the Post's analysis, more than 90 percent of the funds going to private schools through voucher programs are going to religious schools. They looked at the states with the most expansive voucher programs, by which I mean the few states that have like a anybody who wants a voucher gets a voucher level accessibility to their program. And what they found was that in Ohio, about 91% of voucher recipients are religious schools. In Wisconsin, it was 96%. In Indiana, 98 Now, so far, there are only a handful of states that have voucher programs that are universally accessible or nearly universally accessible. But the thing that's been holding them back until now was the questionable legality of forcing non-religious taxpayers to fund religious education. But now the Supreme Court has ruled that not only is that legal, but it's fucking mandatory. So there's nothing standing in their way but red tape, and that's falling away. There are now 11 states where all or almost all students are eligible for vouchers and another 18 states in one district that have a more narrowly accessible voucher program, but ones that still fund religious institutions regardless, right? Because the fucking Supreme Court says you have to. And of course, to truly understand how egregious this is, you have to consider all the legal exemptions that religious institutions already have, right? I mean, this isn't just a case where I'm now paying for a school that teaches young earth creationism. I'm also being forced to fund institutions that fire people for being gay and kick out students for having gay parents. I'm being forced to pay for a school that denies the very existence of trans people and has a special exemption to laws about gender equality. That's what we're paying for now. And while vouchers might be the most egregious way they're letting churches rob the public coffers, they're hardly alone. Even the money going to public schools is being tossed over the wall of separation more and more. We're spending taxpayer dollars hiring Christian chaplains in place of school counselors in Texas. We're spending them on Ten Commandments signs in Louisiana. We're paying teachers to present alternatives to the theory of evolution in West Virginia. Right In Oklahoma, the state Supreme Court is weighing whether the state can directly fund a religious charter school. And, and let's be clear about what we're actually doing here, right? We're abandoning the very concept of public education. We're giving up on the idea that the state should pay for every kid to learn the basics that they're going to need to thrive in society. Instead, it's now only required that we teach them something. Doesn't matter if it's useful, doesn't matter if it's true. And for all their bullshit about vouchers being a vehicle for school choice, they sure don't give a fuck about my choice to not pay for their lies. Right. In the in the article, they quote one Brian Hickey, the executive director of the Catholic Conference of Ohio, who says, quote, it's the parents money to use as they see as best. We don't necessarily see it as taxpayer money, end quote. And while I'm sure he has to tell himself exactly that five times in a row to sleep at night, it's still a fucking lie. 
The point of public education is to educate the public. If parents abdicate that responsibility by sending their kids to a school of make-believe, they have forfeited every right they have to those funds. Hell, the fact that we even allow schools of make-believe is already pretty fucked up and worthy of some serious reconsideration. But the idea of bleeding the real schools dry on their behalf is worth no consideration at all. And look, it's frustrating as hell for those of us who have been playing the part of Cassandra through the process, right? It's frustrating as hell to watch the Washington Post wander up to this forgotten speed bump of rubble and say, hey, didn't there used to be a wall of separation here? But later, no, they are starting to show up to the party. And if we find a way to welcome them in, it could still be a banger.